ESG stands for Environmental Social Governance. On the surface, ESG scores are a measurement of how well a company can address risks regarding things like, but not limited to, carbon emissions, safety, and, of course, diversity. It is a social credit score system that scores companies, businesses, this means media, on how much they fall in line with the new vision of capitalism. Unfortunately, the illusion of how things actually work in this country is becoming a genjutsu too difficult to maintain, especially when people like you and me get together and communicate. Redditors could blow the hinges off the door of Wall Street and expose just how much of a level playing field it is not. And this is even when you have money to play ball. Honest to God, imagine something sadder. You have money, but shit won't just go. What kind of place is this? Discord link in the description. Like, comment, or correct me below. BlackRock controls significant shares in major companies, but failing to factor consumer sentiment into predictions has guaranteed the outcome of financial loss. A point that bears repeating, investors. Corporate meddling is nothing new, but the UN and its PRI set BlackRock and its ESG chaos into motion, and now the consumer at the lowest level can smell the stench of products so woke that they've forgotten their purpose. You can't give away some of these products, especially with the ease of access to and for competitors to scratch itches that the ESG-controlled companies refuse to. I hope you hear this part carefully. Earnings and assessments spell bleak futures for businesses that are suffering from consumers spending not only on a budget, but spending with the education enough to know not to fund. Hello, beta testers, and thank you as customers for being more discerning. I reject this new vision of capitalism that big money like Vanguard, State Street, and BlackRock have decided upon. CEO of BlackRock Larry Fink is explicit in his declaration to exert full and utter control in a clip that maybe you've seen me memeing. Well, behaviors are going to have to change, and this is one thing we're, going to, we're asking companies. You have to force behaviors, and at BlackRock we are forcing behaviors. If you don't achieve these levels of impact, it, your compensation could be impacted, okay? You have to force behaviors. If you don't force behaviors, whether it's gender or race or just any way you want to say the composition of your team, you're going to be impacted. And that's not just not recruiting. It is development, as Ken said. We're going to have to force change. ESG forces a template and demands compliance in order to qualify for a high ESG score and therefore money from entities with trillions to spare. Everyone follows rules, it's what makes us civilized. But it's impossible not to recognize similarities between the ESG social scores and the social credit score system that the Chinese Communist Party uses. For those unaware, Chinese people have social credit scores that can fluctuate based on things as simple as what they may say online, specifically whether or not they're critical of their government. A low enough score can result in revoked privileges. Maybe you think that can't happen in America, but it always has, and this is just the newest version of it. A bit heavy-handed, if you ask me. It's kind of like when woke gaming gives you the choice between an ugly woman and an uglier woman. And I only know that they're women because otherwise they'd have their shirts off and be muscular because men are allowed to have fun. You have allowed niggas to put on wigs and rob women of not only power, but the ability to have fun. We laugh at you. We can all agree that TikTok punks screaming in the airport about explosives is something that should easily and permanently get them on a no-fly list, but what if criticism of companies could result in you losing a credit score and having the ability to buy a house, to buy a plane ticket, or even send your children to school revoked? Would you feel you really had a choice in whether or not you could speak freely? 
BlackRock's ESG guidelines are less rules and more a series of demands saying, do this or forfeit money. Less a choice, more trillionaires yelling, I guess you don't want money and we are lowering your score. My name is Kyle, and I'm a low income guy living day to day diluting stress where I can with the few outlets that I can afford and the time that I have to spare. I never thought most movies, TV and games would suddenly become so terrible that they'd force my gaze elsewhere. And that is where America is investors. I was here at the dawn of the internet shuffling America online trial CDs for my first taste and as much as I hate avoiding avenues of information, I can easily see from a distance why things like TikTok, waifus, manga, anime, AI, and Eastern art is nourishing the minds of the young and influencing the future. The radical trans and faux progressive shysters hustling people and indoctrinating the young with identity politics and backward sexual education couldn't be more damaging, pathetic, and objectively hilarious if the KGB themselves thought of the dumbest way to ruin America from the inside. This man? <laughs> is why all of this absurd nonsense is the way that it is. Disney never cared about you stupid woke fucks. You're well worthy of the mockery, especially after calling us juvenile for wanting to get our rocks off so that we could get back to work. Men, specifically, and women with a libido, you know I fucking love you. You ever just need to get one off to get back to what the hell you were doing? Yeah, that's what a human does. Work. That thing that people keep the wheels turning with. But now... Pretty women and jiggly tits have been vilified so hard that the workers that would have gladly eaten the grass and let you milk them for a lifetime are now seeking it elsewhere. They're educating themselves on how to bottle and sell their own milk, Target, Bud Light, and games like Saints Row that quote, won't punch down are transparently pussified by these ESG guidelines and I'm proud that people have learned to avoid it. Pre and post ESG content could not be any more night and day and the damage is profound enough that a saboteur could not have done so as effectively. I have been blocked, shadow banned, blacklisted, had comments hidden, been filtered. I've been followed across platforms and harassed for years for sitting in my damn room and simply speaking. I don't raise the freaking flag about it every time it happens because like you, I know that sometimes people don't give a damn. Pointing out patterns, a nuisance for sure, but a person of interest? Not even a little bit. But the fear Make something clear. My message is the threat. The ESG cringe has seized businesses and media and is using it to weave political agendas into products that are ironically referred to as progressive. But if you ask normal people, these changes define backwards. Their best bet was not being noticed, forcing but the pro-progressive losers, the lazy activists posing as games journalists and degenerate developers who live on Twitter and call everything that they don't like bigotry, they went so far that now a pretty woman is controversial. As stupid as many of them are, they know the average person is not offended by pretty women or the appearance of a dwarf in a movie, but they do know that yelling and pretending it's something worthy of offense will give them the attention that they've been seeking for the past decade. And maybe, if they're lucky, a little bit of power. You ever seen the Truman Show? Imagine imagine these are willing Trumans in a straight-to-DVD iteration. These people had the bullhorn, they had the platforms, they had the backing of portions of the private sector, but they couldn't buy sense enough to remember that you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. In gaming, 
Mortal Kombat was so incredible that a rating system had to be created so little Timmy could just pick up a copy of the scary bloody game. The blood and sex appeal is exactly why it was so profound and had such a cultural impact. Precisely because it did not have pussies breathing down people's necks and deciding what they could or couldn't do. But today, however, Mortal Kombat deep throats ESG Larry so hard that PG Combat's women are extremely covered and extremely ugly. You know, when even the POC, as the woke people call them, can't look pretty anymore, that we really got a problem. Because this will undo the imaginary offense and perceived slights against ugly, fat, lonely women, right? They care about Mortal Kombat. Hopefully my scores qualify me for black person consideration so that I can make it clear that POC <laughs> or a person of color is a racist term, backwards, moronic, used by people that we'd probably hate if they were worth our time. I'd like to again assert as a black person that designing deliberately ugly black people and forcing them into what people are paying for increases racial attention, Ed Boone. And to be blunt, Selma Hayek has ended more racism than Aquafina ever will. Latin people rejected Latinx so loud and so clear that I can do nothing but respect them. You will not be offended on their behalf. We're seeing the same thing happen now with people deciding that the portrayal of dwarves in Snow Brown is offensive. Every movie got to have race swaps and gender swaps, right? But a dwarf came forward to say, how dare you take these jobs from genuine and wonderful entertainers who provide the priceless and timeless gift of their time spending their life putting smiles on people's faces in a world growing more miserable by the second these woke psychopaths would rewrite a script to omit a pie throwing scene because it's wasteful they're the types to go to a music concert and ask everyone to stop clapping because the noise is triggering can't you people snap instead what if you actually listen to these narcissists speak not only are they so ignorant that they can't fathom their demands impact on the future, they can barely think past themselves. They are the person blocking the street because of their protest, ignoring emergencies and vital jobs that rely on access. So to make the analogy abundantly clear, the wokening is the F.A. Woke finally getting run over is the F.O. Little did they know that their company cheerleading and pro-corporation ball-licking only worked because some of us had good media to ingest. Investors, eyes are no longer glued to the boob tube. Games have sucked for quite a while unless independent or Asian developers were at the helm. And the war on attractive women and breasts will continue to force consumers away. Fortnite with tons of buff men and even furry characters with exposed buff chests and muscles are fine, but they removed jiggle physics and covered up the one thick woman they put in their game after 24 seasons? Fortnite's had 24 seasons with one big girl, but Unreal joins Dove Soap and Virtue Signaling? Appealing, right? That's not gonna fly off the shelf. I'm afraid that's not how business is done. To businesses complying with ESG nonsense, the customer is apparently always a bigot in need of re-education. Media's milk toast, sanitized and poorly written trash crafted by hack developers and writers went much further than even the ESG demanded in ruining media. That's what they don't want you to know. They didn't need to F it up this hard. They chose to. They love ruining. And I'm happy to say the things that we love trigger these people. Like, subscribe, support, and wish list links in the description. But know that I love you and thank you specifically for anything you have decided not to spend money on because it was deliberately robbing people of something as harmless as fun and entertainment.
Discord link in the description. Jiggle hard and jiggle free. Tomorrow is guaranteed to none of us.